hello everybody thank you for joining me this evening it is Sunday night and it is 715 live broadcast so we have several things going on tonight um, we have a drawing for free mascara or your choice of other free products I have a few laying around so if you've been participating in what's that background sound over the last three nights Tonight is the night. I've been entering your names as I'm hearing from you. And um, I have a little secret. Even if you're not correct, I still enter your name. Where's my kitty face? Where's it going? I, the other exciting news I have tonight is that I have um, a delivery. And so I get to open it and find out what's in that box. So I'm pretty excited, guys. All right, I defeated it, just so we're all clear. I was going down, and I thought yesterday that it was it. I thought I was going down. But I persevered, and I kept saying, I'm not gonna be sick, I'm not letting this take me down, I'm not gonna tolerate it, I don't have time for this in my life, and guess what? I'm good, I'm all good, I'm ready. I've got energy, I'm excited, I have lots of stuff to show you guys tonight, I'm super excited. Um, so let's do this, okay? Uh, let's start with what's in the box. So, my box, I did peek already, so I'm not actually opening it right now, but I'm gonna open it and see what's in there now, because. There are products in there, and I don't even remember really what I ordered. I have so many fun things in here. So what's in the box? All right, let's see. So, well, one thing that's in the box, and I didn't order this, is this. And this is this month's kudos. Kudos are offered by um, the company every month. They're different. Usually kudos will be um, a heavily discounted collection of some sort, heavily um, discounted item, uh, maybe a pairing like a, say a liquid lipstick with a lip brush, um, maybe a liquid foundation with a primer and a brush, something like that that you can get for a highly discounted rate. So kudos are amazing. They're not just available to presenters, they're available to the public as well. So keep an eye out for those. They're different every single month. This month for Kudos, um, what they did is they have tiers, three tiers that you're eligible for as you make purchases. So I think it was for a $75 purchase, they would throw in um, the uh, most popular eyeliner, that precision, uh, precision eyeliner pencil in Perfect, which is black. You get that for free. And then I think the next tier was maybe like $125, I want to say. And with that, you would get the eyeliner thrown in with your order, plus free shipping, plus two of the um, mineral pigments. And the colors are chosen for you, and the colors that they chose are um, Confident and Corrupted. Ooh, let's open them and just take a peek, you guys. It looks like one of them is kind of a dark, almost black charcoal color. And this one, Confident, is kind of like a, a brown, a pretty shimmer brown. Can you see it? And then my other one is Corrupted. And Corrupted is a, yeah, it's kind of a, a pretty, uh, pretty gray. Can you see the color? So for that second tier at $125 purchase, you get the free shipping, the eyeliner pencil in black, perfect, and two of the minerals pigment. If you add on another $50 on top of that, and this is just for this month, I'm just talking about kudos. This is stuff the company just throws in every month as incentives, right? Um, for the public too, not just presenters. For the $175 um, purchase, you get all of that that I already mentioned, plus um, the bonbons, the lip balm. And the color is red velvet cake. I should say color and flavor, yum. So it comes in this nifty little bag, and I'm kind of thinking, you know, for whoever wins the drawing tonight, if you already have the 3D mascara, 
maybe I'll give you this instead. You could have the whole collection. All right, it's a pretty, pretty good collection for that. So I have the hat here with the names for the drawing, and we'll do that in just a little bit. I want to finish what's in the box, though. This is in the box. I'm really excited about this. This was released on March 1st with our big uh, product launch, and this is called a fan brush. And the fan brush is cool. Do you see how skinny it is? And what you do with this is you use a highlight and you fan it here in your highlight sections. Isn't that a cool brush? I bet there are other things you can do with this, but I just thought the brush was cool, so now it's mine. All right, next, what else is in the box? So we released several new stains on March 1st, and I love lip stains. They're definitely my favorite. So I ordered three, and you can see the colors, and the names are on the back. This one, kind of a purpley color, is called Serendipitous. This one, Speechless, is a real pretty light nude. And that one is, uh, yeah, Speechless. And then this one is called Shameless. And it's got almost kind of a, can't really tell, almost kind of a coral red that happens to match my nails exactly. Let's set that one aside. Maybe we'll be using that tonight. Next, the moment I've been waiting for you guys, it finally came my own... No more borrowing. Palette 5. Woo! I'm excited about this. We're using this tonight. I'm going to set it aside also. What else is in here? I have... Oh, that's part of my... My kudos? Oh, no. Oh, no, I forgot. I ordered um, a new liquid liner in the color Perfect. It's that black. Remember I left the top off of my liquid liner? So I have my new one. Maybe we can use that tonight, too. And then I ordered several cream shadows because I love them. The cream shadows go on uh, wet like a cream, and then they dry into a powder so you don't get those crease marks. And I had one this whole time. I've been doing this for, what, nine weeks or so? And the only color I had was that gold one, Extravagant. And I worked it, and it was fine, and I loved it. But now I have more. So I ordered... Can I help you? I'm doing something. Um, you know what? I actually don't know where it is. Can I give that to you yeah. when I'm done? Yeah. Okay. So the first one I ordered is called Whimsical. Let me open it for you. Woo! Can you see how pretty this is? Whimsical. The next one I got is called Charming. I mean, I can't even really remember what I ordered. I'm hoping I ordered a green of some sort. This is called Charming, and it is, oh, that's kind of a creamy green right there, isn't it? Can you see the color? All right, one more. I think I'm waking up my kids. The boys, this time change, you guys. Oh my gosh, we need blackout curtains, stat. What color is this? This is called Assertive. That's what I was thinking of, the green. See it? So these cream shadows are awesome. And you know I use them for that pop on my lower lid. The reason I love them so much is because they go on like a cream. They're very easy to get right where you want them, and then they just dry into a powder, and they blend perfectly with whatever you're using. So super excited about these. All right. I'm trying to remain somewhat organized here okay what else one more thing now this is brand new you know I finally figured out how to do my brows with a pencil and fill it in with the little brush and everything with the eyeshadow but now we have this and I we have it in three different shades this is called the Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette and I've been watching women all day do this so I could learn how to do it when I realized that I forgot to order the brush. So I ordered that today. That'll be here in a few days. I do have a brush I think I can use if we want to play around with it tonight. And I want to show you what it looks like. It has that magnetic close top that I love. This comes on all of our um, 
shadow palettes too. I love that. And this is what it looks like. This is for eyebrows, people. Check this out. What in the world? Check that out. So what's going on here is, let me get that glare out of your face. They're numbered, okay? These up here, you start with the lighter one. And like I said, this comes in three different palettes. So I got the lightest one because I'm light. So you start out with this one and you kind of fill in your brow. Just kind of, you know, start that outline. Then you use the darker one and you do it in brush strokes to give that natural eyebrow look. Then you use these and it's, it seems like this is kind of a preference. We'll have to play around with it, but these here are highlighters. So what you do with them is after you have your brow shape, you go in there and some women were using the pink under here to add a highlight and then using this one. You can't really tell, but it's kind of a yellow, kind of, well, cream. And that one goes on the top. So you're adding a highlight, which really helps you clean up the brow and it helps add that definition and it helps with the highlighting, which we all, all love. This one here, this last one is a wax. And the reason that you use this is because these on top, these are powders, okay? And actually, are they all powders? I have to feel it. Ooh, that, that's strange. Oh, they're all really different textures. But these on the top, these are powders. And you don't want them to fade throughout the day. So when you finish and you're all done and you have that perfect brow, you use the wax and you go right over your work and it sets it for the day. So very cool. Excited to use this. Maybe we'll use it tonight. I don't know. Um, we'll see how my voice holds out, holds up. And that's it in here. So I have my two stains in here. Um, got more mascara today, thank goodness, because um, I was scraping the bottom of the barrel, which reminds me, I got an email from uh, my friend Brenda tonight, and she wanted to let me know something very cool. She said she wanted to reach out to all of her makeup artist friends and to all women who use mascara because there's a way for you to repurpose your mascara wands and help wildlife. So it's an organization that's called Appalachian Wild. And I'll put this in the comments. Save your old mascara wands. If you're going through and you're cleaning out your old makeup drawer, save those mascara wands, soak them and wash them gently in hot soapy water, and then you can mail them to this, this foundation, Appalachian Wild. They use these wands for things like combing um, fly eggs and larvae out of small animals' fur. And um, so you can um, recycle, reuse your old mascara wands and help wildlife at the same time. It's very cool. So that's Appalachian Wild, and it's uh, P.O. Box 1211 in Skyland, North Carolina. So I'll put that address up when we're all through here, okay? Very cool, especially considering we're using two wands at a time. So we can help a lot of animals with that, I hope. Even if just a handful of us did it, I mean, it would be a huge help to them. And I have my fresh mascara tonight. It's going to look amazing. I'm so excited. So should we do a drawing? I think probably a lot of you are checking in to see if you won. And so what do we have for tonight? We're going to have um, a free mascara we're giving away. Or you can receive my kudos bag with the eyeliner, two pigments, and the um, lip balm. Okay? Your choice. Let me get an assistant. Assistant, Emma. Can you help me real quick? So we'll do our drawing, get that done. Okay. Mix up all the names. And then if you'll just reach in without looking and just pull out one piece of paper. Is that one? Uh, I think you have two, there you go, there's one. And then open it up and show everybody who won. I can't read that handwriting. Can you see it? That says, it says Mindy. Mindy, I don't know if you're on here, but you just won. Now Mindy does have the 3D mascara, so she may opt for the um, kudos bag, and that's fine too. So thank you everybody who played and participated. Um, I like to do a drawing every week or every other week or so, and I always have something different and fun for you guys to do. So please participate. Um, you know, there's, there's no trick to it. There's no, you know, 
a side agenda at all. It literally is just um, a way for you guys to have fun and interact with me. So please don't hesitate to uh, throw, your, throw your name in the hat, okay? Moving on. Congratulations, Mindy. We will talk later. Let's do some makeup. I don't even have my makeup out. I'm, I just, I'm like not even ready for tonight. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. So let's start with... I have all this stuff out here now from what's in the box. Let me move all this around. I do want to use a lot of this tonight. So I'm going to start with a spritz. This is the rose water. Okay, I use that on my face before I get started. I try not to talk when I'm doing it because it doesn't taste that great even though it smells like it would. It smells delicious, leaves your skin feeling nice and cool, takes the red out of the cheeks, and oh, you couldn't hear any of the sounds? Really? Well, that's not fair. Well, the first night, um, let's see, the first night was um, the pitter-patter of dog feet walking around my living room. Um, the second night was the microwave in the background. And uh, last night was, um, yeah, that was me getting a glass full of ice. So those were the sounds for the last three nights. We'll do something different next time. No more of this background stuff because I have had people not able to hear in the past too. So we'll scratch that from now on, okay? All right, so now that we're spritzed, I'm going to do a little primer. This is our um, Touch Glorious Face Primer. The reason I use this is because um, it helps me to use less of my other products. You want to put on primer first so that you don't use as much of your foundations, concealers, and powders. Okay. A little bit of primer. I don't know. My mom gave me all these really cool head wraps. And uh, so I was like feverishly digging through the bag tonight. Like, ooh, what should I do? I don't know. I had that, this one, which I didn't fold very well, did I? And then I had this one. And she gave me a huge bag of them. I have all kinds of them. So anyway, thanks, Mom. All right, now that we're primed, I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of foundation. Maybe, I don't have my brushes out or anything. I'm just wild tonight. Okay. So moms, how were your um, kids this morning? I felt like my kids slept later. I mean, they didn't really, they got up at their usual time. It just seemed like it was later because of the spring forward of the clocks. The color I use is Organza. I put it on my brush like this and then I just apply it. Like I was talking about last night, when you use your fingers you are wasting a lot of product. Um, it's just not as efficient as you may think it is. So use a brush to apply your Foundations. I would like to credit Flying Tunes, which is playing in the background. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. Okay. We'll do a little bit of uh, contour and highlight now. So I need my concealer. Looks like this. You can, okay. How'd you guys like my husband last night? He was pretty awesome. That guy, man, he knows how to do his homework. 
I learned more about our skincare line listening to him last night than in the last nine weeks combined with all the presenters I've watched. That was pretty cool hearing it from a man's perspective where they go for the science of it, you know? Oops. <laughs> And then I'll do a little contour. This time last year, I had pneumonia. And when I wasn't feeling good yesterday, and I was coughing, and I had a lot of that raspy stuff going on, that wheezing, I thought, uh-oh. I mean, it took me down last year. I was down for, I would say, a good two months at least. I mean, it ruined me but not this time. <laughs> All right, do a little blending. He was great. I was so impressed. I mean, I thought it was great that he was gonna go live for me. I didn't know he was gonna go live and educate and be awesome and rock it like he did. So it's nice to know I have a substitute if I need one. Someone who can fill in. Well, I have three now, don't I? Olivia and Emma were pretty good. Raising little entrepreneurs. Let me fix this a little bit. Okay. We'll do a little blush. My seductive right here. And a brush, brush, blush, brush. Blush brush. I got this in a kudos, by the way. So you have to keep an eye out. Every month they're different. I've gotten a lot of my product that way. The first, what, the first thing I do is I check my balance on my unique credit card because all my royalties get deposited within three hours after a sale right onto a credit card. It's a Visa. You can use it anywhere. So I use that credit card to buy product. Um, that gives me a 20% discount because when I place an order and I get, I give myself essentially a 25% 25% commission um, that gets deposited back onto the card immediately. So that's kind of the discount, how that works. And then the second thing that I do is I look for those kudos every month. And when you go to Unique's homepage or go to my page or whatever it is, um, the kudos will be listed usually right at the top and it'll tell you, hey, for March, you know, we're giving away, um, I don't know whatever it is for it's usually around anywhere from 25 to 50 percent off so they're good deals it's a great way to buy product hang in their voice okay I think my face is done for now should we try the brow palette I don't know I don't have the um, it's called like the artist's brow brush and what it looks like, I have this little guy, you know, that I use all the time. It kind of looks like this, but it has two ends, and one end is an angle like this, and then the other end is flat. So I don't see why I can't use this brush until my brow brush comes. Let's try it. And if I look crazy, whatever, we'll just erase it. Oh, let's not use Palette 5 for it. Let's use the Brow Obsession Palette. Just got this today. Oh my gosh. What in the world do you do with it? So this is what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna start, they're numbered, okay? This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So I'm gonna start with number one. And this is the blonde um, palette that I got. And I'm just gonna lightly go in there and start an outline of brows. Cool, huh? I almost did not even order this because, I mean, you know I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I was like, what in the heck am I gonna do with that? But, you never know till you try, right? I'm still using number one. I'm gonna just take my time See if I can figure this out. 
Hi, Terry. Okay. It's really light. Okay, so that's how you start, right? Then I'm gonna go to number two. These are powders I'm using right now, okay? And I'm gonna get some of number two, and I'm supposed to use light strokes for a more natural brow. One of the presenters said, just feather it up, feather it up. So we'll just feather it up. I'm not making fun of her. I actually, I really like this presenter. I watch her all the time. She's kind of my go-to on YouTube for learning how to do eye stuff. I don't know how long she's been doing this, but um, she's awesome. What do you think? It's coming along. I could probably go darker. I'm just being very timid right now since it's my first time ever doing it. Do they look even? I was going to use some kind of bold eye colors tonight, so I don't want a weak brow. I don't know. I have to practice with this. I'm wondering if I should have gone a palette darker. And maybe it's just because I've been going darker. But, I mean, it's, a, it's very natural looking, right? Okay, I'm going to go in. Ooh, sorry about that. I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab some of this pink highlight. And this is the part you use the flat side with. I clearly don't have that, but I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, it's a really weird texture. This pink is like... It's like wet. It, it's not wet. It's like uh, spongy almost. It's really interesting. I'm going to do this here. And here. Can you guys even see that pink at all? I mean, I don't think you're supposed to look at it and say, oh my gosh, look at all that pink under there, but I'm going pretty light with it. And then on the top, I'm going to go to number four and use that as a highlighter on the top of it, which would be here. You know, the right tools are so essential with makeup. And I know it can be heartbreaking to buy a brush for $15 or $29 or whatever they are, but they do make a difference. It does help you. It's all right. I don't think that was bad for my first try. I don't think I want to use the wax because I don't think I'm ready to seal them in yet. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go in to another palette, maybe if I can find one, and um, make my brows darker just so that my eyeshadow can be supported a little better tonight, okay? And... For you blondies who are watching, um, I think I would recommend to you to get the middle brow obsession palette rather than the blonde one. I feel like this is too light for me, so I will be ordering another one. I always said I was going to run this business with integrity, and you know, if there's something that I don't love, um, I'm not afraid to tell you. I mean. I don't want you guys to buy something and say, wow, Stephanie said she loved this. I can't say I agree. I want you guys to love it too. And I feel like if I love it, you'll love it. So we have plenty of wonderful products to choose from. If there's something I don't love, it's okay. You can shop around, try some other things. What do you think? Well, that was my first experience with the Brow Obsession palette. Now the fun part. Okay. Kelly, guess what I got today? I got my very own. Oh, christening it tonight. 
really excited. I have all this crazy like orange going on so that was kind of my angle and I think I'll just go with it. All right. So I referred to this palette for the longest time as the clown palette. I refused to try it, to order it. I just, I wanted nothing to do with it because these crazy colors. And then my friend Kelly uh, let me borrow hers. And this is now my favorite palette. And I have been waiting for it for um, a week to arrive so that I could jump in and it's here and I'm so happy. Okay, so these colors here, you have, um, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but you have Suspicious and Vintage. And that's kind of the look I'm going for tonight. Um, so I'm going to start with a little bit of the Suspicious. I'm using kind of a short flathead brush. And I'm going to just go, oh, first I'm going to do my eye primer. Isn't that something, how I forget it every single night, every night? When will I learn? Okay. Eye primer. Why do we use eye primer? Anyone? Eye primer enhances the pigments. Our eyeshadow pigments are very, very high, high quality pigments. Um, but you can even bring out the color more. Yes, that's right. That's right. That, you are all right. You can bring out the pigment colors. It will keep your shadow on longer and all day. And it saves you from using more product than you actually need to. So. Primer is essential. If you are going to get anything with your shadow palettes, please get the primer. Please, it is so worth it. It looks like a little teeny tiny package, but this thing will last you forever. You use so very little of it, okay? And it does make a huge difference. This is that cup I bought recently. I don't know, it's probably backwards. All I need is coffee and mascara. This cup was just like calling to me one day at the store. Um, this is not coffee. I can't drink coffee at this hour. I'm drinking tea right now. I'm not a big tea fan, but um, it does help kind of soothe, soothe a sore throat. Primer is well worth it. Preach it, girl. Okay, we're ready. We are going to use some Suspicious right here. I have a wild hair on my bottom lid. Okay. Oh, I love it, I love it. Gargle with warm salt water before bed. Yeah, that's a really good idea. You know, Kelly, I had kind of forgotten about that. I will, I will. I was using like a saline on my nose, in my nose, and that kept me kind of clear all night long. But I forgot about the gargling with it. Of course. Yes, I'll do that. Kelly, are these your favorite colors? The Suspicious and Vintage. <coughs> Palette 5, are those the ones you use the most? kind of thinking, you know what would be cool, I didn't really think this through, was to use one of my new cream shadows, one of my greens, because I have this kind of green orange thing happening up here. So let me see what I can do about that. See, this one's super dark, right? But then I have this other guy, where'd he go? It's almost minty looking. I just don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the dark one. Let's just try it. You guys don't mind if I experiment live. I have to get all the gold extravagant off of my cream shadow brush. This is a cream shadow brush that we sell. I got it in my presenter's kit. I don't know how to describe it. It's like the bristles are really tight, so it gives you a nice smooth um, application. All right, let's try some. I'm gonna use it off the lid here. I don't know where I'm gonna use it. 
let's just try a little bit. So I like to take a little bit on the brush and then I kind of like to mash it down into the brush by um, going into the lid like that. All right, let's see, where should I put it? Uh, I don't know where to put it. It's like the exact same color as my eyes. I'm kind of thinking crease. Whoa, it's really dark, okay. Can you guys see the color? Kind of a pretty combo. I've got kind of like that rusty color from palette five combined with this um, you know forest green color. What is this called? Assertive. Alright, let's try this one. Jenny, are you still on? Saw that you were really accumulating some party points. You go. You're having a very successful party this week. I'm excited. You're going to have enough points to buy um, quite a bit of uh, product for yourself. It's pretty awesome. That's the whole point. And I'm adding up some dollars to donate to um, Emma's gymnastics team. So that's pretty cool too. Ken said they should have a uh, my name. They should have "Unique" by Stephanie printed on the balance beam in the gym. I love it. Yes, they should. And then we should have like a big red ribbon um, celebration. No, I don't think so. I'm happy to help out the gym. They've certainly helped out my kid enough. What do you guys think of this? It's really different. I feel like the light is terrible. What if I do? Ooh. <clears throat> All right, we need to lighten this up. So I'm gonna go back into my new palette five that I love. So this is what I have on the lid. Then I used that forest green above it in the crease. And I was kind of thinking, I know this looks really yellow, but it's a really pretty gold. So I'm kind of thinking of going into that with the uh, angled shadow brush of mine and doing that to kind of finish it off and go down into my tear duct. Because that looks so pretty with that green. You guys, oh my goodness. I love it when I take a risk like this and it turns out so awesome. Can you guys see the colors that are happening right now? It is so pretty. And I haven't even blended yet. So that um, most powerful women conference I went to in Vegas, I uh, started following Eric Worre. He's the guy his wife put on the conference. And uh, he's a, kind of like a networking coach, um, kind of Tony Robbins style, very inspirational, just knows how to do network marketing and how to teach other people how to do it. He, so I started following him on Facebook, and um, today he went live, and so I started watching him, and 
because I was watching him live, I got a free webinar, which I'm taking tonight at nine o'clock, and I'm super excited. And it's like a, the, the perks keep coming. Um, this is the best investment, honestly. All right, and now I'm going to go in there with some matte beige <clears throat> and calm everything down. I could have gone a lot bolder with this, but I just got, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit insecure tonight. I don't know why, but it's really pretty. Let me turn up the light so you guys can see. I wonder if you guys can see it. Can you see the colors that are happening there? I'm not good at winking that eye. Okay. I'm going to use proper. One of the people in Ginny's parties, in Ginny's uh, online party, ordered this today. Let me read around a little bit for it. <coughs> so I'll use that so she can see it if she wanders over here. Here it is. It's that dark brown. That'd be pretty with the green and the kind of orangey, rusty color I'm using. Oh, I was going to use my new liquid liner. Shoot. Tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? I forgot. Yeah, they match the scarf. bed this morning and I felt like a pile oh holy cow and I walked into my closet to get dressed and I was like I feel good I feel great I feel amazing today is gonna be amazing today is gonna be the best day not an immediate response I went to church still feeling like a pile I left church feeling like a pile but you know what as the afternoon wore on I started to feel pretty good and I just am feeling better any minute every minute I think I willed it away I get to use my fresh mascara And then with my um, old mascara, I'm going to soak those wands. I wonder if we can use the Fiber Lash wand too for that foundation, that Appalachian Wild thing. I'm gonna have to see what that looks like once it's washed, but I'll soak both in hot soapy water and wash them thoroughly and uh, send them over to Appalachian Wild for them to use for their animals. Pretty excited about that. So it comes out the fancy box. And we have the gel and we have the fibers. Let's start with some magic. I like to, ooh, they're really tightly on there. Maybe I'm not closing mine tight enough. I like to unscrew both of them at the same time so I can work back and forth. I do one eye at a time. Start with the, the gel. Okay. Get 
those lashes nice and wet. Take out the fibers. Ooh, this looks much hairier than my wand. Yeah, I was getting down to the bottom of the barrel for sure. Apply the fibers. I'm gonna let that set for just a second while I move to my other eye with the gel. Wet those lashes. Fibers. Oh yes. I got a little crazy. I have lashes or fibers falling. Okay. And now that that's had a second to set, I'm going to go back with my gel and I'm going to seal the fibers in. I'm also at the same time that I'm doing this, I want to be pretty thorough about it so it lasts. I'm kind of combing my lashes as I do this, okay? seal in the other eye. gel on the bottom you can do the fibers on the bottom too I normally don't so I like for the lashes on the top lid to be like BAM I hear Rafe coughing uh oh You see? Okay. So I'll put this on tight. And for the finale, I'm going to use my new lip stain called Shameless. Brand new. I love stains. I almost just had like this giddy laugh come out of me. I love it so much. Like the first time you put that color on and you're like, exactly the color that you knew it would be only almost prettier No, the stains, the stains don't mix well with the concealer. They're too different. The textures are too different. The stain um, is water-based and very runny. Do, can you see it right there? That if I tip this far enough, it would just spill. The liquid lipsticks, every single one of those, you can mix with the concealer. 
And today when I was placing an order for my uh, artist brow brush, I thought, you know, I, I don't have any of the lipsticks. I don't have any of, of Unique's lipsticks. I've just, I've never bought them because I was introduced to so many new products so quickly. I love the lip stains. I love the lip pencils. I love the lip balm. I love the uh, liquid lip. Um, and so I had the lip gloss I love, but I had never even bought one lipstick from them. So I bought three today. Gosh. I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to have those soon and I'll be able to demo those. So the color tonight is Shameless. Brand new, first time I've used it. Totally love it. And tonight I got to use my very own Palette 5. And then I also had my brand new cream shadow that I used. And that was the color Assertive. And that's that forest green you see in there. So that's it. I'm back. I feel good. Huge shout out and thank you to my husband who covered for me last night when I was feeling under the weather. I appreciate that so much and I love you, honey. And um, which do you like best, stain or splash? I'd have, personally, I think the stain. I really, really enjoy the stains because, um, I don't know, they just have such good coverage and they're not that hard to apply and they last um, all day long. The liquid lipstick also lasts, but that um, because it's a regular lipstick and it transfers onto cups and people and things like that as you're kissing, um, I'd probably have to say I like the stain better. But there are colors in the liquid lip that you can't get in the stain. So like the Spellbound and the Superstitious and some of those just purples and blues and oh my gosh, you just can't find those in the stain. So, um, so I, I go to the, the liquid lip for those. And the reds, I mean, they do have some real nice reds in the stains, but the liquid lip, you can't beat that sizzling. I mean, it's just like red. So anyway, thank you, everybody. Um, thank you for supporting Ken last night, and thank you for returning tonight to support me. And I'm back. Congratulations to Mindy, who won the drawing tonight, and thank you to everybody who participated in that. And I will see you all tomorrow at 7.15 right here. Thank you, everybody. Have a great Monday. Bye.